Yeah. Okay. Hi, right, welcome to Off the Shelf. I am your host, Miss Victoria, and my co-host is Avian right there. And as you can see, just by us, we are both wearing green because this Off the Shelf is dealing with St. Patrick's Day. Today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. So we're going to go ahead and begin. Now, the four that I'm going to show you, uh, they do, we do have them here at Garcia Library. So you can come into the branch and pick them up to check them out. Of course, put them on hold and pick them up curbside here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the first one. All right. First one is going to be a children's one. I just wanted to do a St. Patty's Day book specifically. And this is a famous author, Anne Rockwell. A lot of people know her. And it's going to deal with St. Patrick's Day, just very basic, especially for the children. This one can, you can involve the kids in and you can read them for a story time. It gives you a little more details, very basics. Uh, you can see everybody's wearing green. You can see the clover in the picture. So it's very, if you want something quick for them, it's something you can do for them as well. I don't know if Avian, have you ever seen this one before? Oh, it's really cute, though. <laughs> it is cute. One. It is cute. Uh, I don't know if we have. I think it's already checked out because it is popular uh -huh. right now for the St. Patrick's Day. Let's uh -huh. see what our next one is. Next one is just a nonfiction children's one. And this one I know I've had a display. I have a display back actually right behind me. And I have St. Patrick's Day and, of course, green book covers and behind me. And this was how to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And you can see them with the 40th clover and they have the I want to say flags, I guess you can say almost like a color guard, um, flags, and they have their outfits. And you can tell that they're in a parade, probably in a St. Patrick's Day parade. So if you want to get more information on how to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, besides just wearing green, you may want to find out what's the meaning behind green. And of course, the lucky things like four leaf clover, I think it's a horseshoe, um, pot of gold, what, and then just several things you can do. They're probably going to have like what foods they also have, which we will also have an off the shelf. We will focus on one that's just food and drinks that you celebrate also. Let's move on and see if I have, I think I might have an adult one next, Avian. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Surprise ourselves. Nope. It's another kid one because I know you have to have seen this one. Yeah. The Black Lagoon series is so fun. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. I like that it has, it is literally St. Patrick's Day from the Black Lagoon. I mean. I've never read the St. Patrick's Day one. Neither have I, but that leprechaun looks kind of like the leprechaun from the movie Leprechaun. Yeah. Creepy. That, that, that's a little creepy. <laughs> and it doesn't help that there's a alligator in the top corner looking down also. Yeah, the weird alligator teacher yeah. so, so if you're into the black lagoon adventures uh just want something light to read and of course you read to your kids or your ones in middle school or elementary this will be a good one to do because this way they're reading like chapter books early chapter books as well so there might be something bonus for you on that one all right and our last one and i think i focus primarily on kids because i want to use a lot of them adult wise there's not too many that are specifically for St. Patrick's Day that I've found. I mean, there may be some fiction books uh, like Joanna Fluke. Uh, they tend to do the St. Patrick's Day ones, and I think I mentioned her on the other slides. Uh, but this is the last one. This is the revised and updated version of St. Patrick's Day. You can see they have the beard and they have their hats. They're decorating. A little celebration there. Uh, so this is another nonfiction one. So if you want to be interested in getting any of these to your kids and help them start celebrating St. Patrick's Day, um, this would be a good way to start off with any of these four books. So I'm going to go ahead and just move on. Make sure you do place these on hold and pick them up curbside if you like, or just come in. You should have them displayed out for you. Okay, Hoopla. Hoopla in the end. We're able for surprisingly... There was a little bit more on Hoopla and other ones that dealt with adults. Uh, we have St. Patrick's Day Shamrocks. You can see that first one. And you can see St. Patrick himself right there. And of course, you have the Irish flag, Ireland flag right there, the orange, white, and green. Of course, you have clovers. And if you notice, typically clovers are going to be three leaf. To make them lucky, you want to look for the 
The fourth leaf. Exactly, the four leaf clover. You want that one, which is not easy to find, to be honest. I've looked several times and yet to find one. Uh, other one we have next to is your adult, Leslie Mayer. That's the other one that does St. Patrick's Day murder. Oh, Why gosh. not? Something always happens there on St. Patrick's Day. So yeah. this one does a murder mystery. I wonder if it has to do with like people getting murdered with St. Patrick's Day parties. St. Patrick's Day is a very party holiday for adults. So I wonder, wonder if that's- It could, it. it could be. It says, you know, it's crazy in a town like to live. It looks like a sleuth is a murder detective. So it's a Lucy Stone mysteries. Uh, okay. It's so, serious. yeah. So it's going to be some murder in the town apparently. And it happened to be on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, okay. I mean, huh? Oh, I said, okay. Yeah. Well, I think maybe probably they were, like you said, gathering, having to get together, celebrating St. Patrick's Day, and something happened, and someone's, there's a dead body. That's my best guess. Nice. Uh, then, of course, you have the his, Hollywood history, the story behind St. Patrick's Day, and you have some bagpipes. You have the men in their little kilts, so they can, they're walking. You have the, they have the whole attire. That's typically when you see on St. Patrick's Day in Ireland or any parades, that's the attire they typically wear. And of course you have on the last one, What is that make one? sure I have, oops, let me go back real quick. St. Patrick's. Oh, Patrick's Day or the Scheming Lieutenant, that's the last one. Uh, you have to read more into that one. It has some stories, it's an adult one um, oh. that deal with St. Patrick's Day. So it's a kind of interesting one. I'm, Hoping to probably check that one out to look into that one a little bit more. So since good. you all got a sneak peek of the next one, Access 360, the first one obviously everybody should know is your Magic Treehouse. Magic Treehouse is a good time. Not as creepy as the Black Lagoon, but just as fun. True. I don't think I've read this one. This is like, on this series, I think on this one, they redid it. So the numbering has changed. Uh, on them, yeah, because a lot of them regular was one, but they started making them special, so they made it into the Merlin missions. Yeah, this one has a different like cover. Yeah, it, then it'll have similar covers, I think. The only thing they changed is what says Merlin Mysteries at the top. Um, so on the regular one, if you have one of the old versions, it may be number 33 or number 23, something somewhere around there. But in the Merlin missions, it's number 15. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. They changed it a little bit on that. They wanted to separate him, and it's kind of a little confusing. So you might want to check their website to figure out what numbering it is. Uh, next one is the Irish uh, Healer. It is also another mystery one. You get to the time period. And it would probably be just because it deals with, with Ireland. And St. Patrick's Day or St. Patrick's Day is typically in Ireland. I'm more sure they probably celebrate in Scotland, but it's going to be highly celebrated in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Another, the last two over here, those are murder mystery ones. And Darkness Take My Hand is actually dealing with Irish uh, murder mysteries. A okay. uh, guy went to look at the detective and he's dealing with Ireland. An Irish, I forgot, it was like a, a, not like a noir or anything like that, but it does deal with, um, if you look, it says he wrote Mystic River and Moonlight Mile, if you ever heard of those, Dennis Lane. So it's going to have some really dark, maybe psychological thriller, I would say. Okay. It might be like that type. I know he did that in Mystic River. So this one is dealing more with Ireland on this one. Uh, it's almost like like uh, Dublin murders, something like that. Uh, the last one I think is called Pretty Things. I could yeah, be wrong on that one. Uh, that one's by Janelle Brown. If you look, it says ID. Look, it has on there and it says Book Club. And if I'm uh, right, ID is Investigation Discovery. I know that channel, and usually that's a lot of murder mystery. Yeah. Uh, so when I, that's one channel I do watch a lot of, and it has a lot of your murder, your mysteries, 24 hour kind of thing. Um, it's, it's a very deep, it has literally, if you want something that deals with any suspense and, you know, thriller at the same time and 
you, you don't you don't have the acorn channel so you don't have the british murder mysteries um id is another one um, for american wise i would choose that one and apparently this book is dealing with one of them so if you want to if you want to take a break from watching it on tv you might want to check this one out on access 360. Uh, of course make sure you go to your app store if you haven't already and download the hoopla app and the access 360 app so you can be able to access uh these items now of course for access 360 and of course hoopla you have to have a library card so make sure you do come by if you don't have one already and get a library card you will use that number to log into access 360 as for hoopla you're going to use it but you're going to have to create an email and password or you can use your current email and just have a different password and they will ask you for the library card number because when you log in you have to log in with the email and um the password Access 360 would just be your card number. So those are both two great online resources that you can use to download these books, of course. Now remember to visit the Facebook and YouTube channel, Corpus Christi Public Libraries. You'll get a breakdown of uh, any videos that other branches are recording and you can watch as well. Uh, if you need help finding any books besides Avian, coming in and asking Avian for any suggestions or ideas, you know, if you want to give her a break, you know, help her out here. You can also go to our website, cctexas.com slash library, check our online catalog. Uh, you can use at the bottom, you see some pictures of the books. You can use the new book alerts. You can also do author check and, of course, book newsletter to find anything you are looking for. Last thing is a really long, that's your detail for the programs that you can find there, or you can just go to the cctext.com slash library from the other page and just click on virtual programming if you want to do a shorter version. And I hope you join us next time. We will be talking about uh, food and drink. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.